<laughs> this is just me reading an article uh, on the New Yorker called LPD, Libertarian Police Department, by Tom O'Donnell. It's hilarious. Satire. I'm just going to uh, read it like an audiobook for you. This is narration. I was shooting heroin and reading The Fountainhead in the front seat of my privately owned police cruiser when a call came in. I put a quarter of the radio to activate it. It was the chief. Bad news, detective. We got a situation. What? Is the mayor trying to ban trans fats again? Worse. Somebody just stole $447 million worth of bitcoins. The heroin needle practically fell out of my arm. What? <laughs> What kind of monster would do something like that? Bitcoins are the ultimate currency. Virtual. Anonymous. Stateless. They represent true economic freedom, not subject to arbitrary manipulation by any government. Do we have any leads? Not yet, but mark my words, we're going to figure out who did this, and we're going to take them down. Provided someone pays us a fair market rate to do so. Easy, chief. Any rate the market offers is by definition fair. Ha ha ha. That's why you're the best I've got, Lazowski. Now you get out there and find those bitcoins. Don't worry, I said. I'm on it. I put a quarter in the siren. <laughs> ten minutes later, ten minutes later, I was on the scene. It was it was a normal office building, strangled on all sides by public sidewalks. I hopped over them and went inside. <laughs> Home Depot. Home Depot presents the police. I said, flashing my badge and my gun and a small picture of Ron Paul. Nobody move unless you want to. <laughs> Nobody move unless you want to. They didn't. Now, which one of you punks is going to pay me to investigate this crime? No one spoke up. Come on, I said. Don't you understand that, pr that the protection of private property is the foundation of all personal liberty? It didn't seem like they did. Seriously, guys. Without a strong economic motivator, I'm just going to stand here and not solve this case. Cash is fine, but I prefer being paid in gold bullion or autographed pendulette posters. Nothing. These people were stonewalling me. It almost seemed like they didn't care that a fortune in computer money invented to buy drugs was missing. I figured I could wait them out. I lit several cigarettes indoors. <laughs> a, pr <laughs> a pregnant lady coughed, and I told her that secondhand smoke is a myth. <laughs> Just then, a man in glasses made a break for it. Subway, eat fresh and free, scumbag! I yelled. Too late. He was already at the front door. I went after him. Stop right there! I yelled as I ran. He was faster than me because I always try to avoid stepping on public sidewalks. Our country needs a private sidewalk voucher system, but thanks to the incestuous interplay between our corrupt federal government and the public sidewalk lobby, it'll never happen. I was losing him. Listen, I'll pay you to stop! I yelled. What would you consider an appropriate price for stopping? I'll offer you a thirteenth of an ounce of gold and a gently worn Bob Bar 08 extra large long sleeve men's t shirt. He turned. In his hand was a revolver that the Constitution said he had every right to own. He fired at me and missed. I pulled my own gun, put a quarter in it, and fired back. The bullet lodged in a USPS mailbox less than a foot from his head. I shot the mailbox again on purpose. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> all right, all right, the man yelled, throwing down his weapon. I give up, cop. I confess. I took the bitcoins. Why'd you do it? I asked as I slapped a pair of Oikos Greek Yogurt Presents handcuffs on the guy. Because I was afraid. Afraid. Afraid of an economic future free from the pernicious meddling of central bankers, he said. I'm a central banker. I wanted to cold cock the guy. Years ago, a central banker killed my partner. Instead... I shook my head. Let this be a message to all your central banker friends out on the street, I said. No matter how many bitcoins you steal, you'll never take away the dream of an open society based on principles of personal and economic freedom. He nodded, because he knew I was right. Then he swiped his credit card to pay me for arresting him. To be continued. <laughs> I gotta read this part again. I will... I was shooting heroin and reading The Fountainhead in the front seat of my privately owned police cruiser when a call came in. I put a quarter in the radio to activate it. <laughs> the heroin needle nearly fell out of my arm. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can actually, I can make this better. I don't have a heroin needle. 
but I do have a copy of the Fountainhead. Bad news, detective. We got a situation. What, is the mayor trying to ban, <laughs> ban trans fats again? <laughs> God damn that Ellsworth Tui. Bad news, detective. We got a situation. What is it? Is the mayor trying to ban trans fats again? Worse. Somebody just stole $447 million worth of bitcoins. What kind of monster would do something like that? Bitcoins are the ultimate currency. Virtual. Anonymous. Stateless. <laughs> I can't. I'm done. I can't do this anymore.